Hello, in this video we're going to talk a little bit about what Java actually is. So Java is a powerful general purpose programming language. It's very widely used. It's been around quite a long time now and it will be around for a long time into the future. So it's a really great language to learn as your first programming language or as your only programming language because people certainly do make careers entirely out of Java. And whatever kind of program you want to write, there's a good chance that you can write it in Java. Uh, just for fun, I googled something like programs written in Java and I found this Reddit page. What are some of the biggest and well-known, well-known, well-known Java applications used in this in the world? And you can see just from me scrolling through this that there are an awful lot of things written in Java and it covers an awful lot of different areas. Uh, so what is a programming language in general? Well, basically programming languages can be div divided into two types, interpreted and compiled. Uh, in both cases, you write text files in your programming language. So Java is a language in a way, in the, in the same sort of way that English or Greek or Italian are languages. Um, that is, you can write down Java, you can write down text in the Java programming language in any kind of text editor. You know, it's just some text. Then to get that to run on your computer, you need some other step has to happen in order to actually run that text as a computer program. So with interpreted programming languages, uh, what happens is your text gets fed to a thing called an interpreter, which is just a computer program. And that actually does whatever the text tells it to do. Now, Java is not interpreted. It's a compiled programming language. That means that we take our text and we use some software to turn it into an actual binary computer program, which can then run and actually do things on your computer. So quite often in this course, I might mention compiling or building. Compiling means taking your Java text and turning it into binary files, which are actual computer programs that your computer can understand. Building means uh, taking all the different binary files that you've created and building them or combining them into a single computer program. So um, I, I might I tend to use these terms a little bit interchangeably, compiling and building, although they do mean different things. Don't worry about memorizing this at the moment. All I'm trying to do is uh, reduce your confusion, not increase it. So I just want to run some of these ideas past you so that you've got a bit of an idea about what's going on here. So basically, we, we write Java programs as some text and we compile them and build them into a program. And usually that's more or less as simple as clicking a button after we've written the actual text. Most of what we're doing is just going to be writing that text in the Java programming language. If you want to create a particular type of program with Java, so let's say you want to create Android programs or you want to create uh, websites or web applications or um, games maybe even, you can create games in Java. Uh, whatever you want to do, first you would have to learn basically the Java programming language and then later on, you could learn how to use Java to do the particular type of thing that you want to do. So if you wanted to create websites, first you've got to learn Java, and then you'd have to learn about creating websites with Java. There may be other things that you have to learn. So in the case of websites, you'd have to learn more about web programming generally. But basically that's the idea. This course teaches you the Java programming language uh, so we'll be creating mostly text mode programs, which might not sound very exciting, but the thing is you'll be learning the Java language itself, and that will give you a very, very powerful sort of platform from which to then go and learn particular areas of Java that may interest you. Um, many people build careers just entirely out of Java. So uh, beginners often think that they've got to learn 15 different programming lang languages, but you really don't. Uh, lots of people just know basically one programming language, like a, like Java or C++ or something, and they just stick to that programming language and they build a whole career out of it. So although 
Um, in this course, I'm not going to teach you how to create Android apps or desktop apps. We may touch on some specific things you can do with Java, and I may show you some basic little examples to get you start started. But we're not actually going to be um, looking at any particular speciality. We are going to be looking at the Java programming language itself, writing text mode or console mode programs, we call them. But even so, you're going to be learning a very, very valuable skill here. And it's hopefully going to set you on a whole journey and enable you to do whatever you want to do with computer programming. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.